Welcome back to our series of Chinese Horror Movies Explained, where we look at the most regulated, permitted film genre in China, and how the filmmakers attempt to get around restrictions to deliver a decent horror film. If you like this and are interested in seeing more, please remember to like and subscribe, and check out our other videos in the series by following the links at the end. Also an obvious warning, but this is pretty much a spoiler filled video. Watch at your own peril. In this episode, we'll take a look at the 2012 movie Love Motel. This movie is directed by Lai Zi Zhen, who made another horror movie called Bedside Cry, which I don't have access to, and stars Victor Cheng, Mi Gong, Anya Wu, and Ming Zhao, who has been in a lot of bad horror films. However, to my surprise, and unlike most of the movies we cover on this series, this one is actually good and worth watching. This unexpected 2012 horror movie goes for scares in a different way, borderlining on more psychological horror. There's no dumb face-off reveals or hallucinogenic drugs. There's no mental illness or friends playing tricks. This is actually a horror film. We start the movie by following Yang Chen. In a great piece of horror cinema, he is stuck to the ceiling over the top of a woman who we later find out is his ex-lover Sing Ya. He screams out to her, but there's no sound. We then cut to Yang Chen and Sing Ya checking into the hotel, the appropriately titled Truth Motel. They're currently renovating for their grand opening, so there's only two rooms available, which is fine as they don't want to share. A series of creepy incidents occur, culminating in the murder of Sing Ya, as well as the hotel staff. But then Yang Cheng is awoken by his alarm clock. He's just had a very vivid nightmare. Yang Chen and Sing Ya work together as reporters, their boss assigns them to investigate and conduct an interview in a small town where a murder has taken place. He sends them to stay at the Truth Motel. Okay, I'll, I'll stop doing that. Along the way, they meet another couple, a very affectionate couple who end up visiting the same hotel they are staying in. Now here's where the movie gets very interesting. Singya and Yang Chen repeatedly take turns in having the same nightmare. The nightmare involves the hotel, the death of the other person as well as the hotel staff, and a crazy knife wielding couple hunting them down. They both experience the same scenarios, the same characters, and the same setting. This might seem silly, but it makes sense once we get to know the two main characters a bit more. Sing Ya is jealous that other girls constantly flirt with Yang Chen and he does nothing to stop it. Yang Chen suspects Sing Ya has cheated on him when he discovers she went to a hotel at night to conduct an interview. They both suspect and blame each other for the failing of their relationship. This then makes the other couple they meet an interesting addition to the storyline. They're essentially the opposite. Or are they? Okay, I couldn't resist it one more time, I promise, no more. Now this one is a simple explanation of how the filmmakers got away with the horror elements in this film, and it's just simply a series of dream sequences. It's not a bigger cop-out as you would think, and there are a couple reasons for that. One, the story is solid and makes sense, even at the end where everything unravels for our main couple. There are no plot holes when you realise how simple the actual story is, even though there initially seems to be a very large one throughout the movie. Two, this is well acted. There's no poor acting or overacting. Our two main characters are highly believable, except for one tiny sequence where Sinya seems to hold her breath underwater for what seems like a very long time. Three, 
3. There are no crappy special effects or reliance on extreme gore. The director has crafted a horror movie well within his constraints. This means he's used lighting, camera angles, subtle audio hints and clever editing to create this movie. It's no masterpiece and I am wondering where the inspiration came from. If anyone knows of a similar horror movie using the same storyline, I'd love to know more about it and compare them. To close up, I want to mention the best scene of the film, and that is the murder sequence of the affectionate couple, as jealousy and rage take over their rational thoughts. What's great about this sequence is that Sinya and Yang Chen are complicit in the murder. They're standing idly by, watching it play out, albeit frozen in position. It's a metaphor for their relationship that's not very subtle, but well handled. It's not often I would recommend a Chinese horror film, but this one is a rare exception. Thank you for watching this video. I hope I'm slowly turning you into a fan of really bad Chinese horror movies. They really don't get enough attention, although they probably don't deserve it anyway. Watch out for our next Chinese Horror Movie Explained, where we will take a look at frightening embroidery shoes. And with a title like that, you just know it's going to be a masterpiece. Subscribe to ensure you get an alert when it comes out. Thanks for watching.